so when, when I was in high school I decided to do architecture and that was a very long course it was six years and once I graduated I was like yep definitely gonna work for an architecture firm definitely gonna get registered as an architect definitely gonna work my way up so that was always my intention from the very beginning right from high school and it was only just over a year ago that I realized that 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 path and that lifestyle wasn't for me. So I moved to Chiang Mai about five weeks ago and I have been more productive there than I've ever been in my entire life. And I really put that down to being around people who just understand me and they know exactly what's going on and they're there to kick my ass. My personality type as well, I'm a real extrovert and I get my energy off other people and I find that if I'm by myself working alone all the time I really start to doubt myself and it becomes really difficult to get things done so being around other people doing a similar thing to me and understanding where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to accomplish that just does wonders for my productivity. It was when I started studying to become a registered architect, I learnt what it was actually like to practice as an architect. And I, and I realised, oh my God, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I'm cut out for this. But I was so determined to finish what I started because that's, that's just what I do. I went through it anyway and I passed my exams and I became registered. But it was during that process where I started to plot my future plan. <laughs> and, and, um, and it was at that point where I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? I know a lot of people who have these ideas, these thoughts, oh, I want to do something different, I want to quit my job, and then they sort of hold off for years and years and years. As soon as I came to that realisation, I was like, no, I have to do this. Like, I have to do this. And I thought, I have nothing to lose, I'm just going to do it. I believe that there are opportunities in every failure. When I started, I had no idea where it would go. I didn't know where my idea would go would it be successful or not? And I realise now that when you don't know anything, that's a great place to start because you don't have the fears in your, in your head and, and the doubts that, that come up when you've actually had more experience with it and you learn about all the different ways that you can fail. <laughs> so when I started, I was like, let's just see how it goes. If it fails, I'll just get another job. No big deal. That's fine. I thought, what's the worst that could happen, really? I'll just move back in with my parents. I mean, not ideal, but so what? I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna be homeless. It's totally fine. And also looking at colleagues around me who were like 10 years older than me and doing the same shit that I was doing. And I was like, is that me in 10 years? Hell no, I'm out of here. One really important thing that I've learned is that you really need to know your audience and is your audience willing to pay for your services and do they have the money to pay for your services and that's something I had no clue about when I first got started and if I did I probably wouldn't have started that first idea that I did but if I hadn't started that idea it wouldn't have led me to this next idea so